I got my spice chai latte. My Gen 5 Glock 26. And a Viridian Rector R5 laser beam. This is for a Gen 4. Uh, my hope is that it was fit on my Gen 5. But I wanted to upgrade my Glock Gen 5 with a laser. I actually bought a flashlight. Actually, no, wrong gun. I didn't buy a flashlight for this. But I wanted to buy a flashlight for this. A friend of mine gave me this Viridian Rector R5. So let's install it. Hopefully, it's going to be an easy situation. Hopefully, it's not uh, too far off. Cause like I said, this is for a Gen 3, Gen 4, and I have a Gen 5. Oops. Okay. Sip of the chai latte. Ah, some good stuff right there. So let's see. Uh, look like he opened it, but um, that's all good. Like I said I got it for free. So, I'm gonna check on my cool Glock pad. You know, breaks down. I don't know if you can see it. Breaks down the Glock. Actually, this one breaks down the Glock 17. The Glock 17 Gen 5. Um, but you know, all Glocks are the same. This is what it looks like inside. I guess I gotta put the batteries in. So let me get some batteries. Okay, I got the batteries open. So, you know, before I put the batteries in, let me see if this thing will fit on here. I'm pretty sure it'll fit. I hope it'll fit. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, hopefully the other side will fit. Oh, look at that. See, even though it's built for a Gen 4, Gen 3, fits on a Gen 5. All right, let's put the batteries in. on this side and let's screw everything back in. Hit that power. Woo! Got that red light. Look at that beam, boy. I like that. I wish you could. You know what? Let's give you a quick view of how this looks. So, I got the Glock 26 the beam on it and let's see what it looks like I gotta say I'm really excited about this I'm turn it off actually my child latte can get it too oh no honestly I just like the way it makes the Glock look a lot more mean a lot more beefier and it really it looked like it was made this way so i like that that's dope so does the gen 4 gen 3 viridian rector r5 fit on the um gen 5 it sure does i thought my video was over and then I realized something. I started playing with this holster. This happens when you don't read instructions. <laughs> you start to, um, I'm pretty sure this is clear in the instructions somewhere, but I didn't read the instructions. Anyway, if you leave the laser beam on your light, the way the holster design it has this magnet that triggers the uh, red dot to go off. So when you holster the weapon, and if you look in there, you see the red dot but once you holster the weapon hopefully you can see it as it happens it turns off so this holster 
allows you to keep your red dot on without killing your battery and then the red dot automatically comes off the red dot automatically goes on I'm gonna show you uh, try to pull it out slow see that right there as soon as it gets away from that magnet so when you're drawing your red dot is ready you can get right on target now this holster sucks I don't know how it feels what I'm wondering is if you can get a magnet or get this device separate and put it on your own holster a much better holster because this I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't rock this holster I just realized I had an extra magnet laying around so I said let me do a um let me do a test let me see if just a regular magnet would do the same thing so it's a regular magnet I got out of this pack of super magnets right here I didn't want to try a super magnet because uh, they might be a little too powerful. But it's just a regular magnet. And watch. Regular magnet. Turns it off. See that? Look at that. Tell me that's not dope. So you can actually modify a holster you already have. And just put a magnet in there. Stick it on there. And it'll work just fine. So I got the super magnet, and I'm going to get out of try. Oh, yep. Super magnet works, too. So there you go. Get one of your old holsters, add a magnet to it, and you get the same effect. And you don't even have to buy this from the... Uh, from the manufacturer. Sorry, Viridian. Sorry. Just cost you a few sales. Sorry about that. Yeah.